Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Ebot or Ebot. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Undertale! What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome! Well, you guys already heard what it is. It's Undertale! Yeah! So, quickly before we start here, don't no spoilers in the comments. If you post spoilers, I will immediately ban you. Um, I, I hear this game is really, like, emotional and story-driven, so I really don't want anything spoiled to me. Uh, so I, I'll, I thank you to not spoil anything for you. I know very little about this game. I watched the game Grumps, or I guess Steam Train to be exact. Or was it Steam Train? Whatever, it doesn't matter. I watched them play the first 40 minutes of this game, and I decided to play it. So, without further ado, it's time to hit confirm. <gasps> Enter the name of the fallen human. Uh, let's, let us just be Chris. Normal, uncapitalized C at the beginning, like a normal doer is H. Uh... H, where are you? There it is, okay. H, where, where's R? Okay, I find this to be laid out very strangely. I, S, there we go, we're done. Is the name correct? Yes. So I know a little bit about this game, I know you could do like a genocide run, and you could do like a pacifist run. I mean, you could either kill everything, or you could kill nothing. Oh, oh, I'm, okay, I thought this was like a weird cutscene or something. Besides that, I don't know pretty much, I don't know much of anything. So, uh, here's my Simpson character. She kind of reminds me of, uh, Noodle from the Gorillas. Mm-hmm. Ooh, there's a door here. Everything's so quiet. <gasps> oh, it's a cute flower. Howdy! I'm Floey! Floey the flower! Hello, Floey, how are you? Hmm. You're new to this underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess a little me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. <gasps> oh, it's a heart. See that heart? That is your soul. The very accumulation of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but you grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Look at that. Look at that face. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around! Get as many as you can! Okay! Ow! <gasps> you idiots! In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Oh god, I only have one health left. DIE! Oh no! Oh god, that laugh is terrifying. Oh god, oh. Hey, I got healed! Somehow. Some way. <gasps> what is that? <laughs> Flies across the screen. <gasps> what a terrible creature torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You're the first human to come here in a long time. Come! I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Alright, let's go. This, I mean, an e a really cute flower just tried to murder me. I'm pretty sure Steam Train, they avoided all the pellets, so I was really curious to see what would happen if I just took the hit. Guess it was kind of a tutorial after all. 
We're all following her. So these act as uh, the shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. And yeah, so these are the save points. See, like I said, I know about the first 40 minutes of this game. So I know some things. Wow, she just randomly can climb up vines? No, we can't. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Ooh, secrets. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and dorkies. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. Okay, so we can just hit the other ones and nothing happens. Cool, but she solved the puzzle! To make progress here, you'll need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press Z to read signs. What's this? Stay on the path! <laughs> Sorry, jeez, I'm just trying to explore, you know. The first switch is over on the wall! Okay! I did it! The switch makes her walk for some reason. Go on, press the switch on the left. So what happens when I do this? No, 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 no! You want to press the other switch. I didn't label it for you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just exploring. Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. Whee! As a human living in the underground, monsters will or monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you're in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time, I'll come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Okay, so this is where, I guess, the, the genocide or pacifist run comes in. So you could either kill everything or you could not kill a thing. Uh, I'm gonna try and go for the pacifist run. I'm told it's very, very difficult to get right and there's a lot of things that could trip you up. So I'm pretty nervous about it. No promises on being able to get it successfully, but I'm gonna try my best. It's a heart. You encounter the dummy. He sure is dumb. Okay. What do I do? Oh, there we go. What? No, no, no! Did this mess up? The only looks like it's gonna fall. I hope I didn't mess it up. Do I gotta start over? I think I gotta start over. Oh man, I'll see you guys in a second. I could, I couldn't move down here. Well, I guess I don't have to start over since I saved the game. Whatever, okay, I'll be right back. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk, not the middle road. I, I missed the sign last time, so I thought I'd point it out. Apparently, this is a sign right here, too. Please press this switch, Toriel. Okay. I missed, too. Please press this switch, too, Toriel. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Okay, so I just recorded this whole third, this section here to the very end of the episode. And it turns out I have my mouse pointer on the screen, so I gotta re-record it, and it kinda sucks, but oh well, it's only a couple minutes. Do you need some ideas for conversation topics? Well, I often start with a simple, how do you do? You could ask them about their favorite books. Jokes can be useful for breaking the ice. Listen to this one. What did the skelly skellington tile his roof with? Shingles! Well, I thought it was amusing. Aw, <laughs> oh, she's so adorable. You encountered the dummy, and yeah, it turns out what I did... Um, accidentally try to fight him when you like when he first enter here and says you counter the dummy so I press Z expecting to advance attacks but it actually you know put it into the fight scene that's why I couldn't move the dang thing so instead we're gonna go to act and we're gonna we're gonna let's check him out tell me attacks you defense you cotton heart with a button eye you're the apple of my eye he has a lot to say about that dummy stands around absent-mindedly let's talk to him you talk to the dummy doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won! You earned zero XP and zero gold. Ah, very good. You're very good. Yay, we did it! There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you could solve it. Hmm, I wonder if we can. Okay, so this room kind of looks like a little worm. It's a worm! Oh! Oh, snap. Here's the actual first battle with a frogget. He's attacking me. So let's act. Let's, let's check. Let's check him. Frogget. Attack four, defense five. Life is difficult for this enemy. Is it? <laughs> and she just death glares him. Yeah, look at that glare. You won. You earned zero XP and zero gold. The west room is the eastern room's blueprints. What? That's wiggity wiggity whack, yo. Oh, that's not true. This is the puzzle, but... 
here, take my hand for a moment. Ah, she didn't want me to do the puzzle because she was scared of me getting hurt. Isn't she just the most adorable? For all I know, she could turn out to be really evil. I mean, that flower was super evil, right? So, I don't know. I really don't know. Like, like I said, I've only seen the first 40 minutes of this game, right? Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. With that being said, if you know what happened, like if she turns evil or something, do not tell me. I don't want to know spoilers. Once again, you have done ex excellently thus far by... I can't read now. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. Uh-oh. I would like you to walk to the end of this room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Ooh, this is some scary music. Uh-oh. My face just looks so... Like, eh, yeah, whatever, I don't care. I don't care about anything. No, I'm a Simpson and I don't care. There's a long room. A very long path. It's very pink, too. Very, very pink. Tutorial craft these ruins? Maybe. I don't know. It's a odd pillar. <laughs> She's behind it. There we go. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Oh. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's too dangerous to explore by yourself. It's dangerous to go alone! Take this! I have an idea! I'll give you a cell phone! Wow, she really is giving me something. If you need... Uh, if you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Oh, she's so adorable! Alright, let's check out her cell phone. Um, say hello. Dialing. This is Toriel. You only want to say hello? Well then... Hello! Hope that suffices. Hehe. <laughs> she's so adorable! Ah, it hurts how adorable she is. I'm gonna say hello again. Salutations, is that enough? Uh, alright, try one more time. Are you bored? I should have given a book to you. My apologies. Why not use your imagination to just to something yourself? Sorry. Pretend you are a monarch! Rule over the leaf pile with a fist of iron! Can you do that for me? Uh, we do have other options here, so let's ask her about herself. This is Toriel. Want to know more about me? Well, I'm afraid there's not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. She really does! Um... Okay, when I just tried recording this now and I failed, I called her mom and then I flirted with her. I want to see what happens, because, you know, she gets all weirded out that I called her mom and I decided to flirt with her. Let's flirt. Huh? Oh, heh, heh, ha ha ha. How adorable. I could pinch your cheek. You could certainly find better than an old woman like me. It's weird, because... The child we're playing as seems much younger. Oh dear, are you serious? I do not know if this is pathetic or endearing. <laughs> don't call me pathetic. Oh, okay, we don't get the option. <gasps> okay, you, you can't call her mom. Okay, that's, that's why. I, that's that was my initial goal here. I want to call her mom. This trail, huh? Did you just call me mom? Well, I suppose would that make you happy to call me mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. Say hello. So I guess I should have stuck with what I initially did. Okay, so when I I called her mom and then I flirted with her and she's like, uh, didn't you just call me mom? And, she, and then she said something like, I don't know whether or not to be creeped out or... <laughs> Sorry, I do not have much to say. It was nice to hear your voice though. She's so cute! Okay, let's... Let's disobey our mom, our goat mom, and push forward. Ring! Hello, this is Toriel. You've not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them for yourself. Be good, alright? Click! Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please. Use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Hmm, it's interesting how the, these guys all know, like, what I am, even though apparently they've been sealed away for a long time. So look at beneath this frog head. Like, there's weird little ball things. Swinging to and fro is just gonna be a frog. Yeah, and there's, if you look at this, there's just like a, there's like two beings here, or maybe the true being is beneath the frog. Ooh, frog didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply. Oh no! Don't touch me! Don't attach me. Okay, she seems reluctant to fight. Sorry, I'm kind of, you know, I already did all this, so I'm just kind of like, oh, I gotta rush through everything. So sorry about that. It says take one. Take a piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Take a piece of candy. Press C to open up the menu. Oh. Uh, 
Uh, okay, so they have a weapon here. Got a stick, armor, bandage. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, monster candy. Monster candy heals 10 HP, has a distinct non licorice flavor. Not licorice flavor. Interesting. So you can actually take more. But I don't, I don't know what. You took more candy. How disgusting. I'm sorry! No, I won't. You just you decide not to take some. I don't want to disappoint the world. Playfully, playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. Okay, so apparently the candy is like a little health. So, yeah. Probably gonna hop close. Can I just immediately flee? Escapes. <laughs> My heart runs away. That's awesome. Okay, these look very precarious. No, we fell down. Let's go up this way. Let's go this way. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Wait, do not tell me. Is it cinnamon? Whoa! Okay, so, like I said, I already recorded this, right? And the first time she called me, she asked me if I like cinnamon or butterscotch, but she didn't guess that it was cinnamon. And it is cinnamon. I like, I don't really like butterscotch. Hey, <laughs> hey, I had a feeling. That's cool, it's different text. When humans fall down here, stranger that I... I often feel like I already know them. Truthfully, when I first saw you, I felt like I was seeing an old friend for the first time. What? Strange, is it not? Well, thank you for your selection. Wow, she remembered that I already told her that. That's cool, that's really cool. I actually had to restart the game because I had already saved after I um, had the mouse on the screen, so. Hello, this is Toriel. You don't dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you like, turn your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Oh, patient, by the way. <laughs> Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Okay. Oh, you know what? That's funny. It says three out of four. Cause that, that's gonna be hilarious for a thing coming up. A whim sound approaches meekly. Oh, he's so scared looking. Don't be scared, guy. Let's console him. We threw your first word. Whim sound bursts into tears and it runs away. <laughs> you won. Zero XP. Yay! We pushed that rock with our mind power since we didn't really touch it. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. We stepped on the wrong one. Okay, so there's a sign down here. Please don't step on the leaves. But yeah, if you take a look, it's very obviously a path I have to memorize. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys right now, I'm very bad with uh, memorization of stuff like this. So don't be too shocked if these kind of puzzles I'm really bad at. Because hey, chances are that's gonna happen. Just, just as a heads up. <laughs> okay, but I already did this one, so I should be okay for this, I think. Can run directly to here, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, I guess I should read the sign. Did you read the sign downstairs? Don't step on the leaves! Okay, I got my first try kick. So yeah, go off the path. You uh fall down. So I guess this is a good spot to actually call an episode. Probably got a whim sign drawn here. <gasps> no! Can we just can we just flee? Let's just flee. Escaped. I wonder, I wonder if you could not flee. Yeah, probably. It's probably very possible. Alright, so. Uh, you know what? No, we, we should do this this episode because it, it, it's going to be three out of four gray rocks. We have to finish that, you know? So, whoa there, partner! Who said he could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Yay, he moved over. But I need you to move more, guy. Can you move more? Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? <laughs> Wrong way, man! Oh no, battles. Oh no, I, I have no time for this. I must escape. Mm hmm? That was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> oh, see, it's funny because it said three out of four rocks enjoy being pushed, and this was the fourth rock. Was that helpful? Yeah. Thanks, guy. So, yeah, um, this will be the first episode of Undertale. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, uh, the best way to support me and my channel is by leaving a like on the video and subscribe to me if you haven't already. If you want to suggest any games for me to play, check out the top link in my description. It leads you to a video where you can leave suggestions. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this series. I will see you guys next time.